Greetings, dear ones. We are the collective voices of the Essenes. We wish to speak about world peace and all that peace entails. Tonight, we shall invoke the vibrational frequency of peace into each of your beings, as you're all receiving an upgrade in your vibrational frequency as emissaries of peace. As each of you are part of the Essene family of light, you are now being gifted the peace you so deserve. Your minds are able to physically hold more peace when you meditate or go into an altered state. Tonight, with your permission, we shall help each of you hold more peace in your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual bodies. As dear Sarah and Joseph of Arimathea completed their transmissions at Glastonbury for peace and cosmic love to become more palpable into the human psyche, Tonight, you all shall receive this gift that was given during the Three Dares Ceremony on June 6th, 7th, and 8th at the Chalice Well in Glastonbury, England. Tonight, as you are all a part of the Essene family, you are all given this beautiful gift of peace and cosmic love as was gifted by dear Sarah and Joseph. Tonight, we honor you as the beautiful emissaries of peace that you all are. Shall we begin? Greetings, dear ones. Yes, we are the collective voices of the Essenes. We bow to each of you and we thank you for your devotion and your due diligence for holding the light, the love, and the peace for this planet to continue in her ascension process. Tonight, as a part of the Essene family, we want to honor you as the beautiful emissaries of peace that you all are. As has been spoken, the three-day ceremony in Glastonbury, England, just a few short days ago, has allowed and brought forth the powerful frequency of peace and cosmic love back to the surface of the planet. Over 2,000 years ago, dear Sarah invoked and infused the vibration of peace into the very heart of Mother Gaia. As Sarah is the goddess of peace, it is her role to help as many souls to return to peace and to help this planet to return to its original state of peace and love. During this three-day ceremony, there was a beautiful new peace grid that was built and created around the planet. Over 20 years ago, Cryon had created a web of light over this planet, an upgrade of peace over Mother Earth. Now, in the year of 2024, there is a new peace grid that has been upgraded and created and built over the matrix of Mother Earth. Each of you, as a part of the emissaries of light, as a part of the emissaries as emissaries of peace are now webbed into this matrix. Just like a spider web or a web of light, you are now infused on all levels into this powerful frequency of peace that has now been overlaid over this planet. Perhaps you can feel it within your very bones. Perhaps you can feel it within your own psyche. Perhaps you can feel it by the way you talk, walk, and interact with others. And perhaps you are not feeling this quite yet, but you shall. Tonight we are gifting you with this energetic frequency as you are being webbed and intertwined 
into the peace grid that was created over this planet. During that ceremony, an energy matrix was admitted in, through, and around this beautiful planet. If you could see the beautiful matrix of light that was infused into this peace grid, into this matrix over Mother Earth, you would be amazed by the beauty because the colors and the frequency and the vibration are all admitting a resonance of what we call an angelic vibrational frequency. As you were familiar with sound healing, sound vibration, color therapy, this is what we call a frequency that is beyond what you can comprehend and your understanding of vibrational healing, of sound healing, of the radiance of the beautiful rainbow frequencies. And so tonight, each of you are encapsulated into this beautiful peace grid and your own energetic matrix, your physical body, your mental body, your emotional body, and your own soul matrix are now infused into this powerful, what we simply will call an upgrade of energy, of peace. That you're radiating the light of God in your very matrix. As if there is a pulsation and an energy frequency that is faster than the speed of light that is pulsating into your own auric field, into your etheric field, into all of your subtle light bodies, into your mind, into your physicality, into all aspects of your being. Each of you have already received and given permission from your higher selves to receive this powerful healing. Be not alarmed, be not afraid. It will not affect you adversely. It will simply allow you to be at peace, to be calmer, to be steady, to be what we call more self-assured. As if you're anchored into the beautiful energy of your soul matrix. That you finally come home to yourself that you begin to feel the strength of who you are. You begin to love and honor yourself and your beautiful cosmic heart radiates a beautiful angelic vibrational frequency. Like the beautiful sound of the dolphins as you hear them speaking the high vibrational frequency that is now being admitted to you, through you, through this matrix of light and peace. As a high vibrational frequency And your own human consciousness may begin to hear it. You may begin to feel it. It may become palpable to you. You may begin to feel lighter. Your body may begin to respond and shift and change vibrationally 
softening perhaps your features, your wrinkles, your frown line, your laugh line, as if your body, your face, your features are becoming softer, more angelic, as you are becoming what we call immortalized, into your light body. As a fifth dimensional being of light. But the stresses and the strains of your human condition of living on the earth plane shall begin to melt away. You'll become more youthful, more vibrant, and your skin will begin to glow. Your eyes will begin to shine the light of your youth, of vibrancy, of expectancy, of excitement and anticipation, of life. This truly is what we call the elixir of life, the energy of creation that created you. That allowed you to come into physical form into your current incarnation. The vital life force energy of cosmic love and peace. And as you know, as you entered in to the first plane, you entered in through the permission of Mother Gaia. To the soul star. Chakra. Of the planet. And tonight. It is if you are being rebirthed again. Reborn again. To the soul star chakra of Mother Gaia through this peace portal, this grid of light that is now encompassing this planet and you are webbed and created in your own peace grid and web of light in your own etheric blueprint. And therefore the body will begin to respond to peace the body will begin to respond to the love. The mind will respond to peace. The mind will respond to love. Again, this is the gift that you are being given as emissaries of peace. And yes, it's a part of our family. It is time, it is time, it is time that you return to peace. As we've said so many times when we have come before in the last few years, your lives have not been easy to the many incarnations, particularly as you have lived as the Essenes and many of you as Catholics that your devotion to what you believe to be true with your own spiritual beliefs were misunderstood and you have held great fear within your heart to persecution that did occur for many of you. But tonight is about a celebration and an honor to be you. You proudly announce that you are an emissary of peace, that you're part of the Essene family of light, that you've had many incarnations holding your faith, holding your devotion to what you believed was your own truth. 
And tonight is about allowing yourself to finally be at rest, to come home to yourself, to come home into this web of light with your family. And the family will continue to grow, grow, grow. There are more souls that are drawn to the vibration of peace and to cosmic love, wanting and holding this within their heart, knowing that it is time. And now that the Lakota prophecy of the white buffalo has appeared on June 4th of this year, this is in conjunction with the peace matrix that was created over this planet during the three-day ceremony in Glastonbury with dear Sarah and Joseph on June 6th, 7th and 8th, 2024. And so you see these synchronicities are simply not random acts. They are divinely orchestrated. And you are part of that great orchestration. And your light and what we call your angelic frequency, your sound frequency, your vibrational frequency, You hold a frequency of light, but you also hold a vibrational frequency of sound. Just as each of you physically have your own signature vibration, your own identity in your human form, You are identified also with the vibrational frequency of sound. And this may sound complicated a bit, but each of you are holding a tone of an angelic vibrational frequency that identifies each of you at the residence, at the level that you're able to hold the energy of cosmic love and peace within your being. So tonight we ask you to allow yourself to be infused and embodied into this vibrational frequency at the greatest level that you can possibly hold and carry and embody on an energetic level. There's nothing for you to do except say yes, please help assist me so that I may be able to be the brightest light and carry the beautiful angelic tone of my I am present that I'm able to carry. Like a fine instrument, you are being tuned like a tuning fork, like a tuning a piano or a guitar. You are being fine-tuned tonight into the energy of peace as this beautiful peace grid in this matrix is now embodying, embracing, and accompanying accompanying all of creation here on planet Earth. For many of you, you will receive this beautiful gift from an angelic being that 
they will be a part of your overall team as the angelic gatekeepers that will be watching over you and watching over you so that this high vibrational frequency that you are now carrying can be guarded and protected until your frequency becomes stronger and stronger and stronger that there's no need for a level of protection. This is not something to worry about. It's just something we are explaining to you. That these angelic beings that are watching over each of you individually will be your protectors and guides so that the peace matrix can fully be anchored within your own etheric field so there can be no disruption. Again, what you consciously understand and what you may not understand is really no significance. It's just a matter of allowing. And there you will begin to feel yourself grounded and centered. For many of you, you have your energy fields have been off balance. Your polarity has been off balance. And you felt wobbly, insecure, depressed, anxious, fearful, insecure, and the list goes on. But tonight, the angelic keepers of your own individual, individual peace grid are keeping each of you aligned into the peace matrix that has been created over this planet and webbed into your own etheric field. And we see that some of you are a bit confused, but do not be alarmed. Just know that what we are trying to help you to do is just be more at peace. Our words can be kind of can be confusing and we do not wish to confuse. We're just trying to explain to the best of our ability how this peace grid and this peace matrix is being overlaid each of you is being anchored into your own individual grid. We simply want all of you to be at peace. We want all of you to feel strong within yourself. as you have done in many lifetimes as a Cathar, as part of the Essene family during the lifetime of Jeshua. Or many of you are very confident, self-assured, deeply connected to the earth, deeply connected to your own inner truth. And then through the course of time, you've lost your connection out of fear out of separation. And as we've said many times before, many of you are separated from your tribe, from your family of origin, and even from yourself. And so this separation and this loss of identity of who am I? What am I? What is my purpose? Where do I belong? All of these questions, so many ask. This is what we're trying, as we say, as we will say, trying rightly to help you to feel more connected to yourself. To connect to who you are as a soul, as a spirit, as an individual personality. Who is? Patty and Tracy and Joanne and Linda and Michelle and Jackie and Pam, Juliet, Sonny, Marissa, Richard, Lillian, Joan, Joanne, Landers. Who are we? Who am I? And again, these questions will no longer be elusive. As you are anchored into the energy of peace, you return home back to the energy of oneness in which you were created. 
And regardless of how young or old you are, at whatever chronological age as you are in your physical humanness, it does not matter. You finally come home to yourself. You finally are at peace with yourself. You finally know yourself. And so the time has come for each of you to call in this energy within your cosmic heart if you so desire and allow dear Sarah and Joseph the Arimathea now anchor and integrate this energy into our being just as they did at the chalice well a few days ago the calmness the steadiness the assurance that you will trust within yourself understand yourself believe in yourself accept yourself love yourself has finally come home to roost as they say this is the time this is the now that we are asking each of you to open your hearts to yourself so that you may receive this beautiful gift of peace and cosmic love opening your heart to peace and cosmic love. May the love of God surround you, the power of God protects you, the presence of God watches over you. Wherever you are, God is and all is well. And you feel this energy of peace and cosmic love. And so simply take a deep, deep, deep inhaling breath and breathe in the energy of the white light of God, breathing in what we call the elixir of life original energy of creation in which you were created. The life force energy of the God essence within your being. And you have come home to yourself. As the energy of peace is anchored into your heart. And there you shall protect it. Because it is the sacred vibrational frequency in which you were created and your angelic team and the angel assigned to you to help you to protect you as the peace matrix is anchored within you will help you to keep the energy of peace and cosmic love close to your heart in sacred 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 remembrance as you are deepening your remembrance that you are a sacred being of light. And then as you begin to honor your temple, as you begin to honor your divine self, you truly begin to love and feel the depth of love for yourself and for all of creation. Compassion Empathy, mercy, kindness, and unconditional love shall be felt upon your own soul, first for yourself, and then for another. And so free the shackle that have bound you to your earthly life and claim peace as your birthright. Claim love as your birthright. And know that the truth, the way and the light is the way where you see we, the esteemed family of light, follow the way of Jeshua's teaching. We are part and parcel 
of the collective energy of peace. that we bring to you and onto the world. We speak of this often because as the Essene family, we are the emissaries of peace. Despite what you see in your world, hold peace within your heart. Trust and allow and surrender your fears and know that peace and cosmic love shall prevail and heal the world. Go now, my dear children, prepare yourself to receive. Prepare yourself to receive. Prepare yourself to receive. It is time, it is time, it is time for the seen family of light and you as the emissaries of peace come home again to the truth and the understanding of who you truly are as the beautiful children of light and peacemakers onto this planet. Go, dear ones, until we speak again. Go forward in peace. Go forward in peace. Go forward in peace. And we thank you. We are deeply, deeply, deeply honored and grateful for this beautiful gift that you have brought and bestowed upon all of us on this Eve. Now, we thank the beautiful angels that are watching us and protecting us as we receive this beautiful gift of the peace grid and the peace matrix of our own essence. We thank you, Father, Mother God. We thank again all the Essene family of light. We thank you, Mother Gaia, as always, we are grateful for this opportunity to serve and to be served. And so it is. And this completes the transmission. And so this is time if anybody wants to share anything. Uh, I forgot to add Tiff- Tiffany's name to the list when I was going through the list. Sorry, Tiffany. Didn't mean to forget Tiffany. I could see the angel, the one angel that was in my mind's eye that was in charge of the peace grid around me. So I don't know if anybody else saw their own angel or felt that grid around them. Uh, But when I saw it and felt it was bringing it forward, it was really, really beautiful and also the the tone or the sound or the angelic vibration of the residence of the energy in which we are vibrating through through sound. I don't know if anybody's had that experience or not. Uh, I don't know much about sound therapy. I'm certainly not an expert on that at all means, but I could feel or see in my mind's eye this, the power and the beauty of that frequency that is such a high vibration that we're vibrating from and through our sound vibration. Does anybody know more about that? Linda Mayer, do you know? Or Joanne Gall or Pam, anybody? I feel like Linda might have something to offer. Linda, are you there? Yeah, um, it's it's that's interesting that you're talking about this this tones and stuff because um, when you were over in Glastonbury and at the tour doing all your stuff that you were doing, uh, I was um, strongly guided that I had to go to um, Pinnacle Mountain. Oh, well, it's outside of Little Rock. 
<clears throat> Arkansas. But anyways, um, because there was, I, I didn't get all the, they didn't give me all the information. They never do. But at any rate, the toning was a big part of what I was doing out there. There was definitely the toning element. You know, the the, the Pinnacle Mountain is where um, one of the um, Christian, crystal sun discs are those are from there's 12 of them they uh, originally came from syrian palladian uh beans in, in lemuria and there's they're still around and um one of them's in pinnacle mountain and it's uh <clears throat> what they are they they have to do with the grid the crystalline grid they receive the energy from the sun to recode the grids and uh, I was sent out there because there was they they did tell me there was some connection with what you were doing, and that it, that that what you were doing needed to be connected into these the the that sun disc, and 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 toning was part of it, and I I, I didn't understand exactly why, but I was told and when I was out there. Um, I had they told me I to put this uh I had a really big crystal that I'd gotten years ago and it came from uh Brazil but there is a also a sun disc in Brazil so you know Arkansas and Brazil are the major big uh crystalline deposits but um so that's interest interesting to me what you're saying about the toning because that was definitely um some there was some something to do with activating um th- that sun disk in these and what you were doing we i was there at those that one of the days you were there i can't remember which one it was but <clears throat> that's interesting but the other thing lee uh, when you said about cryon uh 24 years ago, I didn't even realize it until you said that tonight, but Cryon was in Hot Springs, Arkansas, at the same time that you were over there and that I was at Pinnacle Mountain. And um, (laughs) I don't know what the connection is, but there is definitely a connection. Because what are the chances of that? Oh, you mean he was just, Lee Carroll was just there with Cryon? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, well, 20 years ago, I channeled a message from Cryon. I used to channel Cryon all the time. Uh, I don't so much anymore. Uh, but uh, he, I created a CD that his CD was Imagine a World Filled with Peace. Yeah. And he, and he had built. I don't know, maybe some of you have that already. But anyhow, um, I had channeled that message 20 years ago, whenever it was. And um, he had built the peace grid around the planet. So that was why, you know, they were referring to it now as an upgrade that was released. But that's funny you're bringing Cryon in because, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he, yeah. he, he doesn't really work with me as much anymore. I know he's still there as a part of my team, but... As he's told me, you know, I have other beings to work with because I, you know, I'm a multidimensional being. I channel many beings of light, but I've always missed Cryon, you know, and, and my little joke is, I'm crying for Cryon, you know, because I just miss him because he's funnier and heck. So when he comes to me, he's absolutely hysterical. And I used to start, you know, when before I would channel him, I just would start laughing like a hyena and then I'd be like, Oh my God, people are staring at me. They've got a group of people and they're like, this lady's nuts. And I'm like, you know, he just make me laugh. And I'd be like, a crying thing and they laugh. Sorry, people, you know, but anyhow, I just adored crying. So I, I really miss him. So obviously I'm still working with him on some levels. This is my, yeah, this is my long, exactly. make my point, point, you know, even though it's, you know, he's not coming and speaking through my voice. So. Well, I, 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 there's no doubt in my mind that, I mean, um, I mean, when you said that tonight, I, I was just like, it just like flashed. I was like, wait a minute. Cryon was in, you know, they were working with the grids and stuff at the, you know, it was a pretty big event. There was quite a few people there 
Um, uh, it's just, you know, there are no coincidences, and all everybody has their little part to play. We don't know what it is. We don't know how it's connected, really, but it is. And, um, you know, what you were doing over there and what I was guided to do over with the crystalline grid in Arkansas, to me, and I don't know if this is right or not, it's just my gut feeling, it was, you know, uh, you were bringing in that energy and, 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 and it was being connected into the, the crystalline grid for, you know, the whole planet and, and everybody. And it was, that was just part of the mechanism of, of what was going on. <laughs> was, you know, we don't, we don't really know uh, when we get asked to do stuff. I know you don't either. You just do it. I just and, do it. Um, yeah, me too. And, and, and I don't, you don't really know. You just trust. And, but to me, hearing what you brought through tonight, uh, yeah, I just had a big like, whoa, wait a minute. There's the connection. I mean, I knew there was one, but I didn't know what it was. And, yeah, I didn't have to know, but uh, I, I didn't. I knew Cryon was, in, was having that event there at that same time, but I didn't, I didn't really think of any connection to what you were doing with, but I think there was <laughs> uh, a connection but, now. Yeah, yeah and I took cool. the rest of the... I, I took the rest of the Arkansas crystals that Joanne had given me that you had given her, so I, and I, you know, I'd, t- I'd take them to to England with me and disperse them. Yeah. So hey, this uh, is Tiffany. No, I just want I want to I just want to say that um, there there was in the late '90s by William Lee Rand with Reiki, they put crystal grids in the north and south poles. And um, I do believe in Jerusalem and Japan. Uh, and this was 97 in the North Pole, South Pole is 99. I'm not seeing a date for Jerusalem and Japan. But I remember when, because this is really big, anyone that was uh, that's a certified Reiki practitioner um, and followed William Rand, that this is what they did a long, I mean, a long time ago. But every time we do any type of grid work, it all is connected. That's that's the bottom line. Yeah. It's all connected. So I thought that was really beautiful. Yeah, and continually upgrading, which is what is right. going on now. And, yes, and that's what exactly. all of that was about. What Lee was doing, what was going on at Pinnacle Mountain with the sun disc, with cryon, yeah. and the and the and it's it's just it's just amazing. Uh, you know, everything is planned out. Um, about the divine, and we are just all so blessed to even have just, you know, to be participating, even though we don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel, Linda. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it anyway. I, I, I don't it, either, you know. I just, you know how it is. You just get, okay, we'll get this and go do that. I go, what? Do what? And and the day that I left to go, I mean, I talked to Joanne. Joanne had called me early in the morning, and I just randomly said, now, wait a minute. Now, when is Lee going to be? Well, she goes, she's over there. And I go, oh, my God, I got to go today. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, because it's like a three-and-a-half-hour drive to get there. But I had a great day, I you know. And, uh, and it was funny because at the at – the, um, Spring, I think it was, was it the spring equinox? I don't know, I, not too long ago. I had, you know, again, I had, my voice says, okay, you got to go to Pinnacle Mountain. You got to do some, you got to take this, this. I had this Herkimer crystal, um, Herkimer diamond crystal was a big one, and I really liked it, and it was, you know, but they said, okay, you need to take that over and put that uh, in, in Pinnacle Mountain. And I go, oh, come on. Oh, uh, I really like it. <laughs> anyway, so I got it in Florida. And uh, from Reverend Pat at the, at the, whatever, I can't even remember the name of her place. But anyway. The Cosmic Angel Ministries. 
Yeah, yeah, it's angel ministry. So anyway, so I go over there and I do my thing, and I'm like going, "What in the world? Why am I put? Why are they telling, asking me to put this Herkimer diamond crystal in over here on this pinnacle mountain, which, by the way, looks just like a pyramid? I mean, it's it it is a pyramid. I mean, but it it really looks like a pyramid, and um, and so anyways. So uh, I did that, and then later on, I find out, I don't know, you know, I just get all this stuff, and I start doing stuff and finding out information, and I start reviewing stuff about, you know, these sun disks about in Pinnacle Mountain, and then I find out that uh, Pinnacle Mountain sun disk is, is uh, connected to 12 uh, crystalline nodes that are in the that in one of them one of those nodes that it's connected to one mount shasta is one of them that's connected <laughs> to that sun disk and pinnacle mountain fancy that and the other another one is in herkimer new york and here i was asked to put this but energetically who knows what it's doing i don't know it's got a, a part to play Somehow yeah. in all of this. Yeah, kind of but, connecting the grid. Yeah, yeah. this is Pam, I mean, too. Yeah, I'd like to share a little bit, too. I was being called to do some things, and I, I knew the – of course, Linda, I didn't know what you know what you were up to, but I knew uh, I could feel the, the, the piece of knowing, you know, not knowing all that Lee was doing. But anyways, I was – I, you know, I hadn't really called upon Metatron in a while, so back to, you know, part of Lee's original question about these tonings, and I recognize that, you know, I consider myself a sound healer. It comes, I'm very, very aware it comes through me, through my voice. It comes through my sacred flute. It comes through my angelic drum and my sacred drums. And um, so it was that, Lee, let's see, the, the 8th, June 8th was the soul fest celebration that i was part of and a couple days leading up to that i was getting this guidance so on this on the sixth lee somehow you had sent me a message i don't remember when or how about on a personal level some healing for me with my heart and so you had suggested i go to the cemetery where my parents and oh so many of my relatives my grandparents etc etc and and you suggested to call upon and all the it's it's one I think it's the most beautiful cemetery here in this area. It's Wintergreen Gorge, and so um, you had suggested maybe I go there and then call on you know that to be a portal of light. And so I did that, and I took some of the selenite, and I actually anchored it in my grandparents' uh, gravesite. So that was two days before. That was the Thursday before the Soul Fest. So that you know would have been the sixth. And then the 8th, on the day of the soul, I was getting the guidance, like, even the day before. And as I was out walking to code, I was called to um, call on Metatron, and I was doing some of the toning that you and Joanne and I have done together, you know, like up at Allegheny and so forth. And with uh, Joanne, you originally taught me the, the Mata Om, and so I yeah. hadn't called upon that, right? But then another piece of it was, so I was doing a lot of that toning here, like the 6th, the 7th, and then in preparation like I got this clear message on the way to the uh, soul fest that morning and I had my my drum and my flute and my sacred staff and all those things you know it's like okay what else do I take but I was the uh, lady giants came in and I was like wow okay haven't haven't been in your presence in a while so I I knew they were working with me and the the, um the was it miasmia yanonia yacinte right and i i knew that was associated with the ceremony in shasta because that was at the same time and of course that's where i was anchoring in allegheny when lee and the team were at shasta and joanne and you know you went beyond into vermont i think it was and so i i was familiar with some of these you know synchronicities that were going on too in, in what i was playing um and then when i was working on the I did, I think, I think I worked on five people that day. And there were a lot of common denominators around all those beautiful um, souls that stepped forward for me to do sessions with. I was doing toning with all of them. And, and I, that was a big day for me because I hadn't done this one-on-one sessions in, well, since I've come up here uh, almost. So 
in that, I was very well aware of these peace energies coming through and Sarah and, you know, the Sophia energies and all of the, 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 the whole theme of the peace. And, of course, I had the oils and the products and the Sarah's books on hand. And um, so there was a lot. I felt like not only was I work, those, those individuals that came, they, it was, they were all women um, that – you know, in addition to whatever they were receiving personally, almost like they were being infused as these anchors as well for this this peace, the peace grid. So it was really beautiful. And, um, yeah, I just so wanted to share that. So there's some synchronicities there. So very cool. Thank you. And this is, <laughs> this is Joanne. And, well, um, I was guided to go to Canada to a place called Port Hope, help our people evolve. And uh, I also, uh, on the 6th, I was guided to uh, go to a beautiful grove of uh, birch trees overlooking Lake Ontario. And uh, I was also toning. I was uh, singing the water, uh, the Algonquin water song there, and also yeah. I was guided to uh, say this, the new one that I came across in Judy Satori's, uh, the Syrian prayer of the heart, the song of Anu, and, uh, and, and I had that the, the picture of that cosmic heart, Lee, that you took with you, I had that right on the ground with my rainbow stick uh, at one on it and then leaning up against, I think there were seven uh, birch trees, and I had to just keep going around and around in a circle. I think I went around 13 times singing um uh, the the prayer of, of the heart, the song of Anu, and uh, I also and then I now I do realize I was um, opening up a grid line there, um, and you had previously told me how um, the Michael ley line goes from the Chalice Well to uh, the Canadian Rockies. And I do feel like um, I was on that grid line. I was like in the in the heartland of, of uh, Canada. Um, so all kinds of synchronicities, and also uh, the evening before I went up to the Hiawatha First Nation, and also sang the water song up there. Um, so I had a, a really amazing, lots of things happen, and now there's just more clarity um, from all of the offerings, uh, Linda, Pam, and you, Lee, all of this. It all makes perfect sense. So, yeah, we, uh, we all make a great team, mm-hmm. that's for sure. Well, good work, sister. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, yeah. and it is always it's always fun when we converge to share and then we find out, you know, the task that we've all, you know, individual tasks, but what it is, it's a collective, you know, uh, mission. And so it, it's really cool. What an honor. Well, does anybody else have anything to share? We're over our time here, you know. Um, did anybody else have anything they wanted to share before we... Close it out here this evening. All right. Well, I will. Go, go ahead. Oh, this my timing is not the same, but um, I I spend a lot of time with my two and four year old grandchildren, and this Monday, which would have been the thirteenth, I hadn't seen them for a week because I'd been in Florida. We always uh, I'll I'll go over there at like five thirty in the morning so my daughter can get to work early on Mondays. And they wake up with me and we stretch and we have, we just do these silly little things to wake up. And we toned. We, we were, they were giggling so hard and we were just toning. And it just was very interesting when you women were all talking about the toning because I just did that with my grandkids and it was so joyous. 
Oh, yeah, because the they're beautiful. even though, mm-hmm, and they're not, you know, I mean, at the soul level, they're aware. They're not conscious, you know, right now in a, you know, just I guess I'll say in their in their humanness, but they're obviously it's part of their mission as well. So that's beautiful that you're encouraging them, you know, and showing them the way. It was really, it was beautiful. So that, I just love that. I feel tied in here right now. So thank you, ladies. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you for finding us. Well, our Sisterhood of the Rose class will be next Thursday, uh, June 27th. And then I'll do the next Essene class, July 16th. So um, I will, um, if you want, Patty and Tracy and... Michelle, I'll send you the call tomorrow so you have to show the chart of the that we did yesterday. Uh, yeah, that would be great. To, those, to you, ladies. Please. Thank um, you. Mm-hmm. And as always, Miss Tiffany, we are so grateful to you for helping us. And I want to thank all of you for holding this space and understanding, as I say, the tickings of my mind because... This gives me great joy, and it's so fun to have all of you sisters, um, you know, understand the tickings, and, you know, we're all doing the work together, so uh, even though you may not be, have some of these experiences that the others are having, you're all part of the integral team, so uh, don't, uh, don't discount the light and the energy that you are holding to bring this peace because it is so needed and um, there's a lot of fear in the world. I hear it. Um, And there's a lot of confusion. And uh, a friend of mine was here that was stopped by last night and uh, I was just really, really grateful that... uh, without getting into all of it, I just want to say I'm grateful for you ladies because we resonate together. There's no drama. There's only love. And I'm like really, really grateful for all of you because when I was listening to this lady talk about, you know, the ones that she was associated with and all the chaos, it's like, oh, my Lord. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, anyhow, and we're I'm grateful say, to be part of your tribe too, Lee. <laughs> yes, we Absolutely. are. Absolutely, we are. Thank, we're all, thank you all for yeah. being normal. Thank you, people. Thank <laughs> you. I love you all. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. I was just like, I was sitting there thinking, I'm so glad. Uh, tomorrow night I'll be with my people, and I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, this is. You know. <laughs> anyhow. I'm not trying to talk bad. I'm just, just, just like, oh, my God, I'm just so grateful. <laughs> so, anyhow. Yeah, it's, it's a time. Yeah, there's there's a lot of confusion out there. It's like, oh, my Lord. Well, and, and like you said, there's so much, so much fear. And, I mean, yeah, there's a lot shaken down, shaken out, shaken off. And, you know, God bless them. So many people that don't know. You know, I mean, thank God. I just am grateful. I've awakened in, in my time, and you know, we, it's a continued process. But, I mean, I really have a lot of, you know, those of you that know my story, I certainly have been, you know, put in a position of being around, you know, the kind of mm, maybe the not as awakened, a lot of compassionate hearts in this community, but, I know I've been holding space in an interesting way, so I spend a lot of time, you know, in in the energies and around those who maybe aren't as aware. And so it's um, we're at shakedown time, and it's really important. You know, we all know this, but I think, and even with this this moon that's coming in now, it it's there's going to be some big big stuff, and you know, we're seeing it with the weather, um, these weather events, and just it, it's just 
it's like it's it's exploding and so we have to really take care of ourselves and use our tools and stay grounded to get out there on mother earth when we can be out in nature and do our toning and whatever it is that helps us so this this transmission tonight is going to be you know a big part of that and i know that's why they brought it in because we need it more than ever and um you know in our our human aspects it it's you know it can be challenging too so this is you know i'm really grateful and grateful to be part of the circle and um yeah it's it's a big time yeah that's why they keep talking about us and peace especially yeah. the Athenes, which is we are the anchors i know we're set, we're over time and i don't want to keep everybody yeah. i really appreciate your patience and uh, thank you for uh, Sonny as our new person. Um, so we thank her for being with us. We thank everybody tonight. And as always, I love you. And I um, uh, guess I'll speak with you, some of you, on Monday for Mary Magdalene and next Thursday for Sisters of the Rose. So have a great night. Sending blessings to all. Thank you, Miss Tiffany. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, me. All love right. Everyone. Thank you. Thank you.